there are many ways to make your community a healthier place to live. One way is through citizen science. Residents and community groups collect data to better understand their local environment and address issues of concern. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency often collaborates with these citizen scientists to reduce pollution. The New Jersey Environmental Federation focused on areas where children play and the amount of pollution they're exposed to in the Newark area. What we did um, as a part of our project, uh, the Kids Clean Air Zone, is we actually counted the amount of trucks that travel through three to four different locations in the city of Newark. The main goal of the study was to bring uh, exposure uh, to the fact that in the city of Newark, in most urban communities, one out of four children are asthmatic. And unfortunately, when you live in these kind of communities where you have 7,000 trucks that come throughout our port, we are adjacent to the third largest port, um, only second to the two in California. And so our goal was to monitor the amount of truck traffic that was going through the community to see the levels of PM 2.5, the ultra-fine particulates that impact asthma and cancers that impact residents of the city of Newark. Students from Weequay High School, Barringer High School, and the Ironbound Community Corporation used handheld monitors to test the air quality in the selected areas. We found that by tracking the amount of pollution that came out of the tailpipes, we can see how the level of soot and a particulate matter was very high, um, and that that impact would, in, would in fact harm the residents of the city of Newark, in more particular, anyone who has a compromised immune system. And so we labeled it a kids' clean air zones because why would you have a baseball field that 400 trucks come throughout the community within three to four minutes? Or why would you have a swimming pool where three to 500 trucks come on both sides? And so we found that uh, this way to monitor the particular matter would allow us to then have meetings with the elected officials in our city, our county officials, and to get an actual ordinance passed by the North Municipal Council. One of the reasons that I wanted to involve students is as a mother of three, all three of my children are asthmatic, and I'm asthmatic. I wanted students in the Newark District to really feel and see what is harming them so that they, while they're out recreating on a plan, they can be conscious now of what protections should they look for, and also so that they can be their best advocate when they go to a school board meeting or talk to elected officials of the city of Newark to say, you know, I have asthma. I can't play in an area where 400 to 500 trucks travel on a daily basis. That's not good for my health. And so the students tell the story that needs to be told. EPA is committed to reducing people's exposure to diesel exhaust and cutting diesel emissions to fight climate change and protect human health. If your community has an environmental concern, contact EPA or your state's Department of Health or Environment.